Hi there, welcome to my channel Sim Productions, and this is my first speed build video. I have recorded audio twice now, and I keep saying build video, build video. It's my first speed build video. Uh, I normally do like, um, like if you see my other videos, uh, it's like a movie series. Um, it was originally supposed to just be like a one-off, like a birth to death style video. Um, I started making it when that trend was really popular and then I got really, uh, like into it and just kept going with it and so it wound up being it's going to be seven parts total so um part six i i just put out a couple days ago and now i am uh, working on part seven it's almost finished i just got to add uh the music to it and and do sound design um but yeah so i had this idea for a vampire character that i was going going to do like a movie about like I, I really wanted to do like a, I was reading reddit and there was someone talking about like what's the craziest thing you've ever done with your sims um and someone talking about like their, their murder dungeon torture mansion thing they made and I was like oh you know what like I've I've always you know played around with that but never really never really done anything with that so I wanted to make a um a, a story with murder with sims murder um but i normally download houses if i'm making a video um like a movie or something i normally download a house from the exchange but uh this time i was like no you know what let's build your own house um make make your own murder mansion like I wanted to be really cool. I had a few specific ideas that I really wanted to be in the house. So I thought, you know, I'll just make it myself uh, this time. And, um, you know, if if I'm going to go through all the work, like I normally I'll, I'll download something from the exchange or I'll I've, I've built before, but I build like little small houses that are just for, you know, just for a one off game or something like that. So um, if I'm going to build this house this murder mansion for my story series like it i'm gonna do it right i'm gonna really put the work in and um so that's what this is this is my murder vampire mansion i had this idea of like this lady um i found a mod that uh allows sorcery so i was like oh it'll be like a witch vampire lady and she um she you know lives in this house and she takes people the townspeople from uh from the local area and like kills them and stuff in her murder mansion um with the help of tibbles the goblin who is this like i made a little green dude sim named him tibbles <laughs> he's a goblin um but uh yeah so th this is the mansion that i'm making um and I thought, you know, I'll, I'll just do a build video if I'm going to go through the trouble of, like, really, really making this really nice house. You know, like, I'm, I play so much Sims, I play so many video games, and the reason I started making videos in the first place was that I decided, you know, I, I do all this work and, and I don't really have anything to show for it. I, it just goes, it's just for me. Um, and you know, if I'm going to be doing this anyway, I might as well at least like try to put it out there, put it on, uh, YouTube or something like that. So that's why I decided to branch out into build videos. I don't know how much I'm going to be doing this. Um, I don't, I don't know, um, about like having my voice on camera and stuff like that. Um, or having my face on camera and then like, like most people, I don't like the sound of my own voice, so, um, yeah, I, I'm not sure if I'll be doing other build videos, if this will be my only narrated video, or if maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll start doing this more often, we'll, we'll see, it just depends on what I get inspired by, I really like making the movies like my other little, uh, little story, little movie story that I made, because it's, like, really creative and like 
getting the right shots and stuff is just so much fun. And uh, I actually did that whole series before I even learned about the tab key, um, about <laughs> like filming with the tab key. Um, and I've done a lot of work since then. I'm actually working on a soap opera series that um, I'm still working on it. But, uh, you know, if it if that if I get that worked on more, um, then that you should be that should be up here soon ish I think um but yeah so I've, I'm working on this soap opera series and uh working on a lot of stuff and I, I, I figured out t how to use the tab key for that but yeah I filmed that whole movie series that I, it's already up on my channel without it so anyway so here's a little bit about this build right so it's murder mansion um i really really like this hedge maze you'll actually see me come back to this hedge maze maze a lot um this is gonna be like a th i think it's three parts because i have an hour and 15 minutes of footage um and that's after i cut everything down that's like the completely trimmed down video everything and this is at times 32 speed i spent so much time working on this so much time it it was way more work than i thought because like i was just watching one of hatsy's videos and she was her great gatsby mansion video and she's like oh yeah i did this on saturday for like six hours and I'm like <laughs> six hours on a day like this took me this took me over a week just in building. I mean, like, I, I have another job and, like, I do other stuff. I have, you know, a social life and everything. But so I wasn't, like, working on it nonstop. But still, like, whenever I was home and whenever I was, you know, not doing other stuff, I was working on this. And it took me, like, at least, like, I know there's some... I logged like 40 hours in The Sims and I know that some of that is just me sitting there like I got up to use the bathroom or I got up and did something else so like it, it's 40 hours but not all of that is me playing the game but still like 40 hours I probably spent like over 20 just in the building itself and maybe it's because it's my first build and I'm not very experienced yet and I don't know exactly what I'm doing yet so maybe that's it maybe that's why um but yeah it just it was uh a lot of work a lot of little like as you can see I'm like putting and going around and putting in all the trim and all the freezes and um I started by like I had the basic shape idea for it and then I actually did build this uh, build another version of this already um, in a different save, but then I wasn't recording that one because I wanted a practice because I've heard like other YouTubers, like people who do this all the time, that's what they do. Um, so I was going to practice making it, but that, like I could tell it was going to be so much work. That was already a lot of work and I was like, I'm not going to keep putting the time into this knowing that I'm gonna have to do it again so I went back and I like it was hard I almost just didn't make this at all but I was like no you know you'll never you'll never um, actually get anything done if you keep avoiding hard work so so I I decided to just you know bite the bullet and I rebuilt it and um, and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, I was really excited for this idea that I had and for like all the stuff that I put in this. And like it was really creative and fun to make. And um, I really got to I got to play with a lot of stuff that I don't normally play with in The Sims because I'm not really a builder. It's not something that I normally do. Um, I mean, I'm, I've made some builds before. Um, I made a build for The Sims 3 that I really liked that was like a little tiny house um, with like a family and I had a whole story for like why they live there and stuff and um, I like to do that. If, if I'm going to make a like a build, um, I like to have like a little story behind who's going to be there. But I didn't do a YouTube video for that. That was before. Um, it wasn't before YouTube. <laughs> it wasn't before like 
YouTube was a really big deal. It was just before I was into YouTube. Um, so it was like, I don't know, I want to say like 2010 maybe. Um, and I just, I put the build up on the exchange and it got like a hundred downloads, which is like nothing. Um, but, but I really liked making it and, um, sorry, you probably are hearing my chair squeak. It's really old and crappy. Um, but sorry about that. But, um, so yeah, so the build here, um, I was really excited about this idea and I really liked playing with like all the Victorian stuff. I just love that Victorian architecture, texture, texture, architecture. Yeah. <laughs> I really like all that Victorian architecture and just how everything looks. It's so pretty. And there's like, there's going to be some parts in the video, um, where it's like really pretty and I'm just, I love how it looks. So like here I'm building this hedge maze. Um, I did in the other version, I did get around to building the hedge maze and that's around the time when I was like, okay, it's time to like, this is too much work. It's time to like start recording this or, you know, shit or get off the pot. Excuse me. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm like, I put all these like little furnishings in there. I put that thing out there. I actually wind up deleting that eventually, but I was trying to make this garden. Um, and for this video, so I, like I said, I have an hour and 15 minutes of footage. So I'm going to do a th three parts of 25 minutes each. So this video, I cut it off. Um, I'm working on the, I, well, in the, at the end of the video, I work on the master, uh, bedroom and, um, I, I like start to go into the library a little bit and then I was going to go, I, I, the video was right back to the master bedroom. So I cut it off just after I started working on the library. Um, and then the next video will pick up where I left off on the master bedroom. Oh, so this part, so like I was, wa look at this fence. Like this made me so mad with the gate, um, trying to put the gate on there, uh, cause it kept messing up. And if you saw that glitch, I was watching a Hatsu video or no, I, I think it was Delagrassi. Um, but yeah, like someone else, they were, you know, doing a build and they had the exact same glitch and I actually, and they were like, I still, they still didn't know what was wrong with it. And they actually replaced their fence with like some shrubbery instead of having a fence and I actually figured out what the problem was it's if you have move objects on and like I yeah it happened here too in this fence and it's yeah if you try to place a gate while you have move objects on um, sometimes it'll mess up like that and <laughs> then you can't like if you try to move it, it it'll just erase parts of the fence and they don't show up they don't they just don't keep showing up so I wound up um, I went to the main menu and went back in and it was, it still had the problem. I cut all that, um, from this video just for time and stuff. Cause I had like, it would have been so long if I had kept all the footage. I cut out, um, I cut out a few things. Like there's a few parts, um, I'll point out where I skipped some stuff that I had built that I worked on because it just, I end up deleting it later anyway. But anyway, yeah, with that glitch. So I wound up having to, um, shut down, like I, I went out of origin, uh, or out of the Sims 4 and closed out of origin. And then, um, I wound up like shutting down my computer for some reason. I think it just froze for like unrelated reasons or something like that. I don't know. Um, but for whatever reason, I had to shut down my computer entirely. And when I came back into the game, um, it was fixed. It was it, it wasn't like that anymore. So I just turned. I figured out that it was move objects on that was causing it. So I turned it off and and put the gates in that way, and and it worked. Um, so here I'm building like obviously this little graveyard and a little mausoleum. I thought that was really cool. I missed the little mausoleum object from Sims 3. I wish they would bring that back, but uh, they don't. So I built one. Later, um, there's a part, like I cut this from the video, but there's a part where I tried to build a doghouse. That you, like it went by really fast, but if you saw back there, there's that little corner um, of the house right there. Ugh. It keeps going by for really fast, but yeah, right where the, um, if you've seen the little clips, I, for some reason I put the little, um, greenhouse roof in that corner for a little bit thinking that maybe I would make that a little greenhouse or something. Um, and later I tried to build a dog house there, but that didn't really work because, uh, there's like no, um, the, 
you there's no like it's not it can't go on the ground like I have a foundation on the whole place so the doghouse can't come up from the ground it has to have its own foundation I didn't want a little like it looked too like big like it was like a like almost a deck or something it didn't look like a doghouse it looked weird so I just deleted that and I wound up doing something else with that area um so that part there with the where you see the little squiggly lines I was doing the terrain paints over there you can kind of see it in the corner here um that part is uh I had in mind that I was going to put an orchard there I thought that would be really cool because there's that little fenced in area that's actually for a garden and later I do some terrain paint there um to make it look like a garden but um, obviously, you know, you have to actually plant the stuff because you can't, I, you can't buy it in buy mode or anything, not even with, um, not even with show hidden objects or ignore gameplay entitlements and stuff. You still can't. So, um, so I figured that would be like a little orchard. I thought that would be a cute little, like, so you can walk through the little path and see the little trees and stuff. But I wound up putting like a bunch of pine trees there just in the meantime, just as like, you know, so that it doesn't look, you know, bare and weird until, you know, you as a player or me when I start playing this to make my little murder mansion series. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to go, but I'm really excited for that. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll have, I'll have Tibbles. I, um, I have so many mods, so many mods. Uh, and one of them is, um, NC Command Center where you can just set people's skills and set whatever you want them to be. So I, I made him a level 10 gardener. He's the gardener. Um, he's also going to be, <laughs> he's going to be the witches or what is she, a witch or a vampire? She's both. Um, yeah, he's going to be her, her baby daddy. He's <laughs> going to make little, little goblin demon vampire babies. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be fun. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to make him plant a little orchard there. But in the meantime, I put, um, put pine trees with the vampire stuff pack. I, I don't have the spooky stuff pack and I really wish I did, but we're broke. So, um, yeah, don't have a lot of money to buy like all the packs and stuff. So I don't have all of them. Some of them I don't have, like I bought all of the Sims three packs, like every single, every single, game pack. I like pre-ordered most of them. I made sure that I had them when they came out. Um, I was obsessed. I love that game. Um, uh, it's still great, but it's not great for storytelling and video making and stuff. So I decided to, um, so I made the switch over to Sims 4. Um, but I, I played Sims 3 for a while before I bought The Sims 4. I decided not to go right into buying The Sims 4. Oh yeah, there, right there, um, th upstairs in the, that's going to be the master bedroom. And I kept putting, like, I wanted to put these big windows there. I thought that would be really cool. But then I was like, oh, but it's a vampire's bedroom. She's, you know, why would a vampire have like huge windows right, right there? Yeah. Why would a vampire have huge windows in their bedroom? That doesn't make any sense. So I, I replaced them with small ones and put a little, um, curtains on them and stuff, but it, it leads out into this little, little like outdoor area. It's so cool. Um, this is the fourth floor. So, uh, or no, is it the, wait, yeah, no, it's the fourth floor. And you know, cause you could only have four floors and then the roof and oh, and this part, right. I kept trying to build, like, I wanted this little balcony here. See how cool that is. But every time I built the balcony, that stupid roof would pop in. And I don't know how to, I, like, I, when I popped it back out, when I like moved it, it would shorten, but it wouldn't, it didn't look right on the outside. And so I just kept trying a bunch of different stuff. And I actually wound up cutting like a good part of the video. As you can see, I've moved on. On here but in the original I spent a lot more time working on that um, trying to get that balcony to work but it, it just it didn't it wasn't gonna work so I wound up it's just a little staircase that goes into her bedroom which was really disappointing but I have some other balconies but yeah so this little area this like that's the roof um, but I didn't roof that little patio area so now that's like a little um, patio that's attached just to her bedroom and I'm gonna lock all the doors and stuff so it's like only she can get up there and that's her little studio that I'm gonna put a um, easel up there later you'll see um, but yeah and there's this little outdoor area right there um, 
and this is a little foyer that leads to like some decking and stuff it's so cool i love that stuff um but yeah i was talking about something else what was i talking about um vampire mansion i don't know but um yeah so i oh yeah sims 3 so i had like every sims 3 uh every single one i had every single sims 3 but uh, I made the switch to Sims 4 after Sims 4 really got off the ground because, you know, I bought all those Sims 3 games and I really, like, I played with them all the time and that was a lot of money. It was a big investment. It was a lot of, you know, it was a lot of money, but I think about it this way, like, I probably, you know, Sims 3 didn't record how many hours you spent in it. I like that the Sims 4 does. I already have well over 500 hours in the sims 4 and i've only had it i have not had it since its release i've only had it for like a year and a half now i think something like that maybe two years no year and a half yeah year and a half so <laughs> um yeah so and i've already got over 500 hours so i know i spent like i've got i'm bound to have like over 2000 hours in the sims 3 for sure for sure for sure so yeah that was a huge investment but you know it was a lot of money but with when you think about it like dollar per hour like that was actually one of the cheapest entertainment like purchases i've ever made when you think about it dollar per hour because like you go see a movie in the theater is like twenty dollars for you know two hours of entertainment i spent like I probably spent like 500 or more dollars, probably more than that, on The Sims 3, but if I spend like five, or no, like two over 2,000 hours on that, you know, yeah, that's, it's worth it, you know, it's, it's a lot, but it's worth it, um, and I had a lot of fun playing it, but I like The Sims 4, uh, like for, for making videos um, because I really love the amount of storytelling control I get like with all the mods that I have and everything that I have then I can make it um, I, I can just like control like I can just keep people like like I'll keep them in a room until I need them for this scene or something you know I don't really play it like the game is supposed to be played I use it more as like a movie studio kind of thing but um, I, I find a lot of fun in that. There's a lot of fun and creativity in that, and I really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, this is the master bedroom. I'm really, I really liked this. I really liked building this. Um, oh my god, hang on. Ricky, stop. That's my dog. <laughs> she was like growling at my other dog. Sorry. Um, yeah, uh, so anyway, so bathroom, really pretty. Um, I love this, like that little alcove there where the, the fireplace is. Yeah, I, I'm going to put something in there that's really cool. Um, I, I have like a billion mods. So, um, yeah, I made Tipples the gardener with the MC command center mod. And, and later I wound up adding a maid because I thought, you know, big house, like the sorceress, she's not going to, um, she's not going to clean up after herself she needs a maid so originally it was just Tibbles and her name is Sersha because I just watched Ladybird <laughs> when I started working on this so I was like oh like Sersha Ronan because like I don't know I, I liked that name that was cool so um, I made her Sersha um, but uh, she she's not gonna clean up after herself so it was originally just Sersha her cat and Tibbles but uh, then I added a maid and later I add a dog because I had the idea like oh she's gonna have like a big like m like originally I thought like maybe I'll make like a beast that like lives in the catacombs of this house that'd be really cool if it's like a monster but it really just came out looking like a dog <laughs> it's just a dog it's a scary dog but it's a dog um, oh, and these towers. So, like, I, like one of the things from my original inspiration was the guy talked about how he had, like, a never-ending staircase that just went, like, to nowhere or something. So, I thought, you know, these towers, like, I love these towers. I love that little balcony, how it, like, and the, the spandrels on the, um, on the, on the, um, walkways there. So cool. Roofs on top of them and stuff. But, yeah, um... So this area, 
I put all these stairs in. I actually cut, I did a lot more putting the stairs in, but it was like hard to see and really annoying. So I just cut a lot of that. But yeah, I put those stairs in. So the stairs lead to nowhere. And here I had to like figure out how to, um, I figured out that I needed to delete the foundation, but I spent a lot of time figuring this out too. Um, but yeah, I put this like pool in here in the bottom and it's really cool because it's like, it's an empty tower except for that walkway at the top and then the pool at the bottom. I really wish The Sims had some way of, oh, and the video is going to cut off here, but, um, I really wish The Sims had some way, The Sims had some way of like falling damage. That would be really cool. Or like falling where you could like fall into stuff. That would be really cool if it was, you know, less like, I wish it was like, um, a way of doing like controls like wazda controls for your sims but uh yeah so the video is obviously it stopped um i wanted this to be 25 minutes and now it's 26 minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and cut off uh narration here but join me for part two which i'm about to record now so thanks for watching um please like and subscribe